Hi guys, hope chemical properties of uh, alkyl halide were clear to you. In alkyl halide, we did two chemical properties, very important chemical properties, substitution and elimination. There's a very fine line between substitution and elimination. In alkyl halide and you treat it with alcoholic KOH, alcoholic KOH, the products are going to be alkenes. Whereas if you take aqueous KOH, just the change of the medium and, re and the reaction proceeds via substitution. Aisa kyun hota hai? Aisa kyun hota hai ki jab alcoholic medium lete hai toh reaction mein double reaction mein kaafi tod fod hota hai aur double bonds aa jate hai aur jab aap aqueous lete toh kuch bhi nahi hota. Single egg bond tootta hai aur woh peechhe se dousra bond lag jata hai. Toh what are the factors that uh, you know dominate uh, elimination and what are the factors that dominates substitution? Kab aisa hota hai ki एलिमिनेशन होते होते वो सब्सिट्यूशन हो जाता है और ऐसा कब होता है कि सब्सिट्यूशन होते होते हम धीरे से एलिमिनेशन में स्लिप कर जाते हैं ये जानने के लिए जल्दी से स्क्रीन पे चलते हैं ओवर टू द स्क्रीन एलिमिनेशन वर्सेस सब्सिट्यूशन बिफोर वी स्टार्ट विद दिस आई होप यू हैव गोन थ्रू एस एन वन एस एन टू एंड यू हैव अ फेयर आइडिया ऑफ एलिमिनेशन रिएक्शन ऑल दो एन सी टॉक अबाउट E1 and E2, they only talk about elimination and they call it beta elimination or dehydrohalogenation. But if you have a fair idea of E1 and E2, this video will be more meaningful. In elimination, we require a base that attacks on hydrogen atom and abstracts it that is it pulls it right whereas in substitution the nucleophile the nucleophile it attacks electrophilic center which is usually a carbon having positive charge, partial positive charge, right? Always understand nucleophile will attack on carbon having positive charge, that is electrophile, and base will attack on hydrogen atom, right? Base will always lead to elimination. It will always lead to elimination, and nucleophile will lead to substitution whether SN1 or SN2, but it will lead to substitution. In elimination, more bonds are broken. Let's do an example. Suppose we have a base. Now, depending upon if it is a strong base, if it is a strong base, it means it will undergo E2. If it is a weak base, and we have heat, it will undergo E1. You can go through the video of E1 and E2. Whichever be the case, what is going to happen is the attack of the base, this base is going to be on this proton, right? And finally, what we get is multiple bonds. So elimination will always give multiple bonds, which all bonds have been broken. Now, if you see, we have broken this bond, this bond. So there are two strong sigma bonds have been broken and we have got a weak pi bond. Now if you come to substitution, if we have the similar case in substitution, you know in substitution also we did two categories. Either it can be SN1 or it can be SN2. So SN1 usually happens on 3 degree halide and SN2 happens on 1 degree halide. But I have taken here a 2 degree halide. Right. So now what is happening is you know that this Cl is, will be pushed. This Cl will be pushed by the, by the nucleophile. So whichever is the nucleophile, let's take aqueous KOH. New, aqueous KOH can act as a base as well as nucleophile both depending upon the situation. Now this nucleophile what it does, so either it can attack from the back forming a transition state in SN2 or it can form a carbocation. So whatever be the case, the final product will be CH3, CH, CH2. CH3OH. Now, if you see, finally, it is 
one this new bond has been formed and this bond has broken so one sigma bond broken one sigma bond formed so energetically it's a very viable thing so here heat content will not be there how to make out when it is going to be elimination and when it is going to be substitution so please mind it that all bases can act as nucleophile and we can have nucleophiles acting as base so memorizing will not help now under which situation we will have bases and under which situation we have nucleophile that will decide whether when it is going to be elimination and when it is going to be substitution in elimination reaction we need bases we need bases and usually bases are bulky minus and you have right so definitely this will have a better tendency to act as a nucleophile because it is a it is less bulky and this one will have an a tendency to act as base so this one will undergo elimination and this one will undergo substitution effect of solvent elimination has no effect of solvent bases do not get affected by solvent substitution it gets affected by solvent we have polar protic a protic solvent so in both the reactions will be different steric factors they do not matter steric factors do not matter why steric factors whereas in substitution they do now there is a the reason being substitution the nucleophile is attacking on the electrophilic carbon center right which is further attached to carbon or maybe hydrogen so guys nucleophile ko स्पेस चाहिए घुसने के लिए बिकॉज इसको डायरेक्ट कार्बन के ऊपर अटैक करना इट नीड स्पेस टू रीच देयर तो इसकी वजह से अगर स्टेरिक फैक्टर होंगे तो इट इज गोइंग टू बी लेस फेसिलिटेटेड राइट वेर एज स्टेरिक फैक्टर्स डू नॉट मैटर इन एलिमिनेशन बिकॉज एलिमिनेशन पे अटैक किस पे होता है अटैक इज ऑन स्मॉल अटैक इज ऑन स्मॉल एटम हाइड्रोजन नेचर ऑफ सबस्ट्रेट सपोज आपका वन डिग्री हेलाइड है सो आराम से ये न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सप्शन अंडरगो करेगा और अंडरगो करेगा वो एस एन टू करेगा सपोज आपका थ्री डिग्री हेलाइड है ना इसके ऊपर दोनों पॉसिबिलिटीज हो जाएंगी ये क्या अंडरगो कर सकता है ये एलिमिनेशन भी अंडरगो कर सकता है और ये सब्सिट्यूशन भी अंडरगो कर सकता है अटैकिंग रीजेंट लिया वो एक स्ट्रॉग बेस है या वीक बेस है अगर वो स्ट्रॉग बेस होगा तो एलिमिनेशन होगा अगर वो वीक बेस होगा तो सब्सिट्यूशन हो सकता है राइट right. सो so, इस तरह से आपको आप देखेंगे कि डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द कंडीशंस सॉल्वेंट की कंडीशन हो गई टेम्परेचर अगर टेम्परेचर है टेम्परेचर यूजली किसको गवर्न करता है एक हाई टेम्परेचर मीन ज्यादा बॉन्ड ब्रेक होते हैं हमेशा एलिमिनेशन को न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सप्शन में टेम्परेचर का कोई रोल नहीं होता है सो गाइज आई होप आज के बाद आप सब्सिट्यूशन और एलिमिनेशन में कभी कंफ्यूज नहीं होंगे एंड देर इज गोइंग टू बी अंस ऑफ क्लैरिटी एज वॉट आर द रियजेंट्स विच आर गोइंग टू बी favoring substitution and which reagents will favor elimination that's all for today's lecture take care of yourself